before starting the video guys if you are female and love learning new things my friend has an awesome channel about crafting and hand stitching her channel has tons of awesome videos as you can see those are really great so if you like this type of stuff please do check her channel you will like it hi guys in this tutorial i will show you how we can create this type of multi box effect as you can see if i hover over any of this box we have some additional box showing up as a 3d effect so i have seen this in some of the websites so let's create this we just need some css skill nothing more than that and we i will use elementor okay so this is a blank page in this page i will add three box with this effect so first of all let's create a section in here and let's give it a dark background in here let's say this one and let's give it a minimum height maybe 100 pas to make this bigger and let's create three columns so we need three column in here so first of all i have used icon box in here so in here let's add the icon box search for icon this is the icon box you can use image box as well so in my case we, i will use icon box so this is our icon box and let's add an icon in here and make the style tweak you need so let's create this icon color to something like this one let's change the header color to dark and now go to the advanced background and add a background color to our icon box so I have I am adding the white one and let's give some padding around the box uh, for the top let's choose 25 and for the bottom let's choose 25 okay perfect so and lastly we need to add some border radius let's give it a 15 we also need some drop shadow so that it looks nicer so go to drop shadow in here for the horizontal keep 0 vertical 0 let's choose the blur to 20 pixel and for the spread maybe negative 15 and for the color choose a color you want in my case i am choosing 0303 so in my case i am choosing this color you can choose whatever you want so let's save this and let's check as you can see this is our box then select the section we need to give a z in z index to this section so go to select this section go to advance and for z index let's give it to zero so we need to set the z index of this box to zero and let's set this now go to this wizard selection section and search for html and put this html wizard just under beneath our icon box so we will add some div in here select the column and for the widget space make it zero we don't need any space between two widgets so let's set it zero now go to the html and add a div in here so div and we, i will put a class you can name it whatever you want i am naming it one and close the div so this will be our first shadow so just a div element html element and duplicate this and call it two this is what we need we need two div one with one class and another with two class again you can name it whatever you want so this is our div perfect so now we need to add some css okay but before that let's add some class to our icon box and the column as well so for our icon box let's call it maybe box and for the column let's call it column maybe so i will not use any security so i will target the column for the hover element so let's give it a name to column and let's go to this custom CSS section so this is our custom CSS section I will add custom CSS in here I have a tutorial about this custom CSS plugin you can check that up 
so now first of all we need to target our one div that we have created this one so let's target this one and we need to set a fixed height for this shadow so let's call it height maybe 200 pixel and we need to set the width so the width will be lesser than the width of, of our icon box so that will be 80% let's say and let's set the background color to white in our case and then we need to set the position so the position will be absolute for bo both of the boxes position let's set it position to absolute and the bottom position will be 0 left will be 10 percent as you can see we have width of 80 percent so we have reduced 20 percent so the 20 percent half of 20 percent is 10 percent so the left will be 10 percent so if you reduce 40 percent the left will be 20 percent okay now set the z index of negative one and border radius to 15 pixel it will be same just like our icon box so the border radius of our icon box was 15 pixel so this will be 15 pixel and lastly let's add a box shadow just like our icon box so the box shadow was 0 0 20 minus 15 and this was the color code 0 0 20 pixels minus 50 pixels and this was our color code perfect so let's duplicate this and let's rename it to 2 so this will be our css for our second box so for the two we need to reduce the width a little bit more so in the our case that will be 64 that will look nicer and as we lose 36 percent so the left will be 18 percent so the left will be 18 percent and the z index will be negative two because we want to place the number one div on top of the number two divs so the z index will be negative two perfect and for the border radius and box shadow we don't need the box shadow in here and now we need to set our hover so if we hover over to our column our box 1 and box 2 will be visible currently if we check this as you can see nothing is visible because the box 1 and box 2 is just under beneath this icon box okay so let's create a hover so the name of our column was column so let's target the column and column hover so when we hover over to our column what will happen to box one so let's set this main box first so this icon box so the class of our icon box was box so when we hover our column our box will transform a little bit so let's call it transform And it will translate to y axis so it will translate y axis negative 50 pixels so it will go up this will go up to the negative 50 pixel on the top okay now perfect so let's duplicate this and let's call it for the shadow number one we don't need for shadow 2 this shadow 1 will be perfect and for this case the translate will be 25 pixels so the half of this box okay perfect so let's save this and now let's check as you can see it's a little bit jumpy so we need to add some css transition on it so that it 
works like this smooth as you can see it's buttery smooth in here so let's make it buttery smooth for the box one we first of all we need to add the box so let's put it on top of in here for the box we need to add the transition here is transition and the transition will be transformed as we transformed and let's set it to 0.8 second you can make it fast as well so in my case i'm setting it 0.8 second and let's copy this one and paste it for the div one that we have created paste it in here so let's save this let's refresh now as you can see our hover is working perfectly and it is buttery smooth you can just duplicate this one three times and remove the empty column now we have three and if we hover any of this as you can see this cool looking animation is happening so that was the tutorial so i will see you in the next video